What is up to my gang? What is up to my squad? Kings and queens, just kids and teens. I am back with another upload. It's full last sky in today. We got younger May in the office, young Ma, and she's being accused of hitting somebody car, telling them that she was going to pay them. And according to the person she hit, the person never got paid. So of course, here's a quick image of the car to my love. I'm just looking into this information, so we gonna go through this one by so one. So here it reads: Three days ago, rapper Young and May. Wrecked her Lamborghini by running into my friend's Mercedes Benz and fled the scene by jumping into her friend's car who followed us from Club Zari's Atlanta because her ass was drunk. It's very irresponsible to have your friend jump in our car and ask us not to call the police. You're going to take care of them damages. Your behind had one job to do and you still haven't reached out yet to apologize to us or pay for the damages as promised. That's messed up. It's selfless. Our lives could have been taken. Don't say it wasn't you. We all have the proof we need. So now what are you going to do? Police report was filed. So of course, that's what's going on right now. This woman is accusing Young and May of getting into a wreck while drunk, which caused Young and May to hit her friend's Mercedes Benz. Not even that, but the woman said that Young and May promised to fix all damages. And she have yet to do so. So this lady posted this to her Instagram story. I am upset. Young and May... Total Judy Mercedes Benz from the back. She also posted a picture of Young and May to her Instagram story, and she said, "Never trust the bee who wears strap-ons." Yeah, people are so contradicting. Like, how y'all gonna see me putting that on my page? Like, that's like the police and my friends. Boy, fuck all that you talk about. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Cause at the end of the day. If she wanted to take care of it, she would have took care of it. Yesterday, she laughed. Okay? So, you taking this as a joking matter. She got your friends calling and talking about they're going to pay for it. They're going to pay for the damages. Still, haven't popped up on us to pay for anything. Like, out of here, bitch. So, that's what the friend had to say. Now, the one that happened to, she said, so let me clear the air before all this gets out of hand. I went to Zari to meet my friend who came to visit from out of town. Younger mate was there. We got in the car. I drove off. Most people were still in the parking lot, including her when I left. I stopped at a red light. And last thing I remember after that was panicking when I realized my car had been knocked in the intersection. My friend immediately got out, but I couldn't because of my door. So she saw who was driving in ETC. I moved my car out the intersection and finally got out the car. Y'all, I'm in shock at this point. And if you know me, I was more concerned if they died from hitting me that I didn't realize I was bleeding. I did not even secure my own belongings. Before I can even cross over, she's getting help in an SUV and I'm getting yelled at by some of her people. On my, I did not run the light when I was at the light already for a few seconds. Mine, that's why everyone starts to flee and I have to try to run to my car to get my phone. Do what I'm to do all while I have a massive headache. Not to mention, I get hit while trying to pursue them to get the tag off the truck. She is in until incarnate after talking to the cops while trying to return back to the scene. Fast forward, ATL is small. I'm known by quite a few. Through people, I've been associate, but I'm not out like that. So word gets around. Not to mention, she's been recorded making fun of the situation in the past few days. Do not be a hypocrite, man, sir, whatever you title yourself as. You try to portray yourself as this person who cares, yet you failed to care about my life that morning. I'm all about accountability. If I was in the room, I would have taken full responsibility, but I was not. I purposely been quiet till now. But after all the info and evidence of your blatant disregard of my safety or my life surfaced yesterday... Like, you can laugh now, but you won't be laughing when I'm done. I want to make an example of you and for you to remember me every time you decide to think you can get away with whatever selfish crap you think of pulling. The car isn't in your name, nor is the insurance. Someone else is about to take the inconvenience they're in, but I have video and pics of you within that car. Thanks to some good Samaritans, I'm not taking any bribes or anything. I am upset because I can't operate how I need to, which is a huge inconvenience. Why you parade with no care? Because as I found out, this ain't your first rodeo. Thank God for the street cameras and me not being someone thirsty for money, clout, or lacking common sense. Now, look, they said the young lady was in the hospital with a concussion. I will keep you guys updated on this situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think about comment section below. And as the lady stated, 
She claimed that Younger May was joking and laughing about the situation. I have yet to see the video, but I will be keeping an eye out on that video. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. And I'm out.